boy? So you want these rocks right here? Nah, dump them over there. Want me, want me dump them right here? No, over there. Short thing, boss. I'll dump them right here. Yeah. Good job, Bobby. You freaking moron. All right. Take a look at this. Yeah. Something don't look right. this one. Hey guys, how you doing today? Sean here from the Crafty Android. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. We're out in my workshop, aka my garage. My garage. And we're working on Castle Skull. So as you can see to the right here, I've got the beginning of Castle Skull, which unfortunately I did start before I decided to start doing YouTube videos, but um, I had enough sense to get to a little bit of a stopping point and realize that I probably want to document this so other, other people can see how I made it. So anyway, we'll go through the details of that, but it all started with the first figure that I made, which was my He-Man figure. And if you watched my last video on Trapjaw, you'll know that Trapjaw was not my first figure. First one was He-Man. I made him with the full intention of making Castle Grayskull to go with him, and he's the only figure I have that's removable from his base. So uh, you probably can't see it on here, but there's magnets that are embedded in his feet, and there's also magnets embedded in the base here, which in turn we're gonna do with Castle Grayskull. I'm gonna mount magnets on there so He-Man can stand up on, in front of Castle Grayskull and not fall down. So without further interruption, we're gonna go ahead and get into the details. All right guys, here it is, the beginning of Castle Grayskull. Basically what I did is I, I made the back part of Castle Grayskull out of quarter inch MDF, sketched it out and then cut it out with a jigsaw and then the base down here is also quarter inch MDF. So on the back I built a little bit of a platform and what I'm going to do is the power supply for the LED lights that I'm going to use in Castle Grayskull is going to sit right down in here and then I'll run the wires up through the back and uh, one will, some wires will lead to the window here and actually plan on putting some LEDs in the uh, mouth of the jaw bridge. But back here for the uh, I guess you'd call them the joists I just used um, one by four common boards and cut those to elevate the platform and Castle Grayskull up and then also cut out some small pieces of one by four common board here and cut them down to brace up the backing so it doesn't wobble very much. It's actually pretty pretty secure, pretty stiff. And then on the front here I started uh, working on my foam work already. So as mentioned before I had the MDF, the common board, and I'm also using one and a half inch insulation foam. I have a few pieces of foam already stuck together and I used wood glue for that. But from now on, I'm going to use foam board adhesive. I'll also be using retractable utility knives, spray foam for the rocks in the face of the castle, last but not least, files, rasps, sandpaper, and my Dremel tool. Here I'm using my utility knife to round off the corners and rough out the shape of the turrets or the towers for the castle. Now I go in with my rasp and round out the corners further. Alright guys, shaping foam is extremely messy, so you probably want to have a shop bag nearby. Now after all the rough shaping's done, I go in with a 150 grit sanding sponge and knock out all the fuzziness and smooth it out a little bit. The 
right hand turret on Gray Skull's got a window, so I'm marking that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my router bit onto my Dremel tool and get ready to cut the window out. Here I'm making sure I have plenty of room in the back opening so I can mount LED lights into the window. Time for a quick test fit to make sure everything lines up right. Now that I'm sure everything fits properly, I'll load my foam board adhesive and my caulking gun and get gluing these turrets on. Okay, now that the towers are glued on and secure, it's time to get the spray foam and start making the front face of the castle. I initially forgot to put gloves on when I started spraying the spray foam, so I had to take a pause and put those on and then move Grayskull outside because I didn't have adequate ventilation. I was wearing a respirator mask because the fumes from the spray foam are highly toxic, so if you're gonna use this stuff, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and wear the proper PPE. I let the foam cure for about 24 hours, now I can start cutting and shaping the face of Gray Skull. First I'm going to start cutting the excess foam away from the inside of the mouth opening. I started out with my utility knife, cutting off some of the bulk of the foam on the face of Gray Skull. Now I'm just going in with my Dremel tool and rounding everything out. I saved the scrap pieces of foam so I could build up some rocks where it was a little bit thin. Here I'm taking a pointed grinding bit and going down the turrets of Gray Skull, and I'm cutting out channels to make it look like stonework.
all I'm doing here is just using some leftover pottery plaster that I had. I just wanted to go ahead and use it up, so I'm gonna mix that up and apply it to the face grease skull to harden up the outside. I had some parts on the face of Gray Skull that were a little bit light that needed to be built back up. So rather than using spray foam and cutting it down, I decided to go ahead and get some air dry clay and I'm applying that to the teeth and the upper jaw and also the right cheekbone was a little, little light so I decided to build that up as well. Now I'm just using a brush with a little bit of water and I'm going in and smoothing out the air dry clay. Once all this dries, it's time for the outer shell. I'll be using wood glue, acrylic paints, a chip brush, some disposable cups, a stir stick, and good old cheap toilet paper. I'll start out putting some wood glue into a cup. And with a separate cup of water, I'll start adding acrylic paints with black, green, and brown paint. And stir it up until the paint's completely dissolved in, into the water. You want to add just a little bit of water to the wood glue because you don't want to water it down too much. I'm going to turn gray skull on its back because this uh, this mixture of wood glue and water will run quite a bit. Right now I'm just brushing on a thin layer of the wood glue mixture to the surface of the castle so that way the toilet paper has something to adhere to. Now with this you definitely want to work in smaller sections. So once you get the thin layer applied to the surface you can go ahead and lay down the toilet paper and then take a good saturated brush of the wood glue mixture and start applying that to the toilet paper. And you want to dab it rather than brush it, because when you brush it, it tears the toilet paper. Once this layer is applied to Castle Grey Skull, I'm going to let it dry for about two days. It takes a while for it to dry, but once it does completely dry, it's going to be rock solid. All right guys, here it is so far and it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. So I didn't wanna to have to do this. I'm gonna to have to break this video up into two parts or it's gonna be a really long video because I still have a ways to go. Hey guys, if you enjoy my content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and help my channel grow so we can continue on crafty journeys together in the future. 
Always remember, guys, stay crafty, and I'll see you in part two.